Hello, welcome to another video where today we're going to be looking at the um, Farmer's Walk, which is a really awesome exercise for developing strength across multiple things. So, uh, very underrated exercise. And you can see here with Nathan when he's walking, if I just take that back, because the dumbbells, and he's got 35 kilo dumbbells in each hand here, when he's walking, he's having to um, create an incredible amount of stiffness in his body to be able to prevent the swaying from side to side. So he's trying to prevent like him, his body moving in excessive motions like that because both of, anything like that will create a huge um, problem for him in compensation and, and make it very inefficient to move. So when he's planting his leg here, as you can see here on the, on the plant leg, and for the leg to swing through in the air, Huge amount of strength were needed, to, in, obviously in the glutes, but through the entire core to prevent this shoulder sway um, exercise, uh, movement that we often see in single leg stance. Now, the other thing that, that you've got to, obviously, which is the, probably the biggest concern when you're at the time, is the grip strength, because that's going to be the first thing that goes. And that grip strength is very reliant on telling the entire structure, not just your fingers to let go because your forearms are burning, but the strength in the shoulder girdle. So he, for him to maintain his posture, if he goes into any hunching postures on this while he's walking with it, it's going to come at a huge cost. And you see his rib cage is held up quite high. He's got quite a controlled stance because if he has any excessive movement, this, this movement will go bad on him really, really fast. So to control it, his body creates that awesome stiffness. So his upper back, which we would see with the deadlifting, um, you know, and obviously gym exercises like rows and things like that he would be trying to do it as well but on on this one he's really creating that huge stiffness and the grip strength is real reliant on the upper body strength so it's a real determinant of that now the best part of this exercise is we would actually really classify it more as a movement and not as an exercise and what do I mean by that well well if I bring Dylan into the picture here this would be where we would see that this exercise being done in real life. And this would be with a, a suitcase, and in this case we've loaded this up with some weight plates. So Dylan's trying to, I think we put about 40, 50 kilos in there. Um, we didn't put too many in there because it gets a bit awkward, but, but this is where he's walking with control and he's going to switch hands. Now, the suitcase carries actually more beneficial to you than just the farmer's walk, to be honest, because um, there's there's a because you're uneven, you're off-centre, there's is an excessive amount of weight on one side that um, forcing your body to prevent the compensation that we saw with um, with uh, Nathan from before. So if I bring him back to here, so when he's walking now, there's a because the weight is on this side pulling him over to counter it. He's got to be strong through the hip complex, but also through the lateral sling that's working through the QL and the external obliques on the other side. So his body's put him basically a, like a belt around him to prevent any excessive movement that will compromise how he does it. So a, an excellent exercise in just for simply improving the ability to walk with shopping bags, as an example. Now, to make it even harder, we could, or not necessarily harder, just different, using a trap bar we could use, um, which sort of, you know, makes it a bit easier to carry a bit heavier weights. There's other things that you can use as well, but... This is where you're sort of coming from the deadlift. And, and the, obviously the grip strength, again, as we just spoke about with those dumbbells, becomes a real factor, and that grip strength is such a determinant on overall strength of the entire body, yeah, even including the legs, because it sort of tells the brain this is, we're, we're switching everything off now. Um, to turn around with this is quite hard because the bar will actually create a bit of a spinning effect on you. Um, but, yeah, another excellent exercise for just overall strength. Um, and it really improving that gait pattern, which is so difficult to train with other exercises, such a unique um, pattern. It's, you can't train it with an individual thing. All right, so this is an excellent way to enhance it if you don't have a problem and to get it back if you do have a problem. So um, anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed a quick video on that and a quick look at how it relates to everyday movement. All right, um, I hope you, and we'll see you on our next video.